Lesson 15. Oh, yes, yeah, lesson 15. Oh, yes, yeah, lesson 15. Uh huh, yeah, okay, good, good, good. So, in this lesson, we will learn how to create these front speakers, okay, with uh, this sort of a panel uh, with small design on it and uh, these like rollers for the cassette player and and this like the head of the cassette player uh like the counter panel here some logo here and these logos on the front of uh, the speakers front speakers and the panels and the cassette player and the counter just like i showed you uh, a moment ago uh, in the beginning of this lesson so first what i will do here is that i will go and make a clay spherical clay Bring it outside, make it like a black color, increase the size of it, and make a new layer. And then I will squeeze it down. Something like this. Okay, space bar, go to the erase tool, press tab, move it down a little bit, press space bar. And then to get rid of these uh, rigid, uh, rigid edges, I will take the cuboid, okay, and then space bar and move it up till it erases that part. Okay, done. And now what I will do here is that I have to make this uh, top part a little flat. So what I will do here is I will just move it here on start okay just a little bit a little bit more now it's kind of creating this hole but it's okay because we have to put a cylinder in between there. So that's fine. So now what I will do, I will go to my clay tool again, take the cylinder, make the cylinder smaller, down here, okay, So I will create a, a chamfer effect here and a little bit of fillet here, okay? Apart from that, I will squeeze this down and move it up and increase the chamfer. Let's make this a little bit smaller. And what I will do here is that I will make a new layer, space bar, okay, go to my erase tool, put a bit down, space bar again, I think I have to move more down, that was fine, okay. After that, what I will do here is I will again go to my uh, clay tool, okay, and add some thickness to this uh, like a uh, clay okay so it will become like a frame here and reduce the shape for here but and move it down and i will make a new layer and then press space bar there Okay. Or before pressing space bar, let's change its color, something like a lighter color, and then space bar. Okay, so this will create something like this. And now, as you know, we have uh, this sort of a uh, speaker effect here. Now, at this stage, what I will do is that I will do some smaller holes in the cylinder and some bigger holes in the in this uh, like uh 
like this outside speaker. So first of all, let's go to the outside speaker, double click on it. Okay. And we are in the edit mode for uh, like uh, of the speaker outside one. And then I will go to uh, my erase tool here, reset its uh, origin and reset the size. Also, I will make it smaller, not too small because this is uh, basically uh, like uh, it have to be bigger because the outside as we have decided have to be bigger, but not too big. Okay, something like this. I'll reset its origin here. Right click here and turn on, go to the symmetry. Turn on the symmetry, radial symmetry here. Move this outward. Okay. And I will right click here. Keep on increasing the number. to around, I guess, let's see, 30. Then I will press spacebar. Okay. Then I will move inside. And once I will move inside, I will reduce the size of this. Okay. And then I will just move the position of this as well a little bit and then space bar. Now we are done with the outside part. Now we have to work in the, like in the inside part. Okay. So for the inside part, I have to double click it here. Oops. Yeah. Now I'm inside here. Now in the inside part, I will make a smaller black holes. I will move this. Oops. Let's reset the orientation. Right click here. Turn on the retail symmetry. Okay. Then I will move it out. Uh, I will move the, move outwards. And increase. Something around 35. Spacebar. Then I will move inside a bit here. Right click here and reduce it to 30. Okay. And also I will change its position slightly just like this. Okay. And that's all. So we have our speaker here ready. Okay, and this is how it will look like. You can see that as, uh, as you can see, I think this is the frame maybe. No, this is uh, actually the thickness of that, uh, which is not, oh, uh, this is the out, like outward speaker. So what we can do here is that I can go here, right click on this and, uh, Uncheck the symmetry here. Make it bigger. Also shorter. Shorter a little bit. Piece the size of it. And then I will press spacebar. That's all. This will erase that uh, part which was overlapping with the holes up. Uh, holes okay now we are done with this uh part and we can select this uh double click on this one the the inner speaker part go to the warp tool okay and turn off the symmetry here okay and go to the placement reset the placement option like uh, orientation take the ellipse a little bigger okay 
hardness uh yeah zero and what i can do here is that i can press space bar if down so i can have this sort of effect here down but it have to be it have to have uh less strength and little hardness like some something around this this much and i have to move it up here down space bar okay done and now i can take the smooth tool here and smooth this part okay just fine it's too strong so let's undo and smooth again And then I will use only the inwards cavity to smooth out. And the outward here. Okay. So this looks fine here. So what I will do uh, at this stage is to create a frame around this speaker. So I will go to the uh, my clay tool. Okay. And use the same uh, cylinder here. But I will reset its origin, make a new layer, okay, resize this, make it shorter as well, resize this as well, put it down somewhere, and I will increase its thickness a bit, just like this, and taper it. as this one and I have to make it a little shorter okay now what I will do here is that I will press space bar and then I will remove the taper like I will increase the like decrease the taper. Go down a bit here. Press the space bar again, and keep the uh, keep the space bar pressed and move down till it creates something like this. Now we are done with this part. I can put it here. Okay, so this will become like my uh, speaker. And the color of the speaker, uh, like sorry, uh, the frame of the speaker and color is fine. However, I want to put a logo at this uh, at this side. So, to put the logo, what we can do is that we can import uh, like an external mesh uh, file here. So I will go to the clay tool, stamps, add a stamp here, import a stamp. Okay, and I have here a logo, sorry, uh, stereo, yeah, FPX, I will open it up. And it is loaded. And here it is, you can see that. So what I can do here is that I can increase its, uh, I can make a new layer. Increase its uh, resolution higher and press uh, control to rotate it fast rotate it downwards okay you can increase the size of this okay and let's see how big is it right now this is i think quite big so reduce the size somewhere here and then i can the space bar move it a little down and keep the space bar pressed and keep on moving down slowly okay so this will create this sort of a uh, engraving effect of the text here okay now if everything is done here so what we can do is that we can select all of this 
that we have created frame and everything press control and click here to rotate it and I will turn on the uh, repetition from here you can move it backward here and then you can see the studio text is also flipped so we can like fix it later on but right now I have to uh, make it smaller okay then move it back this over here now this is too small so I will make it a little bit bigger Okay, so to make sure I have to select it again because accidentally I deselected it. But I think this is now fine. So what I will do is that I will merge them one by one. This one I will merge it first. So what I will do here is that I will go to the merge option here. Control E or just press this here. Okay. Then I will merge this. Then this. Then this. And then this. So now it's time to flip this uh, studio uh, here. So I will select this uh, studio uh, text. Press Control I to. Uh, like inverse my selection press H so everything will be uh, more like kind of like a hidden except for these two now I will make sure that I will double click on it to move inside the editing mode I will turn on my warp tool okay and I will make sure this warp tool is on my studio text make sure the hardness is 100% Strength, I will make it 100% as well. Okay. Now, if I will press space bar and start rotating this, you can see it is rotating. Okay. But uh, I have to make sure that it rotates completely at 180 degrees. Okay. So to make sure it is 100% uh, rotating at 180 degrees, so you can press... Uh, space bar control key and click on here okay and one more time and that's all okay and then what i will do here is that i will press uh go back to selection mode okay and right click here to show all And after that, if you will notice, it's not showing the stereo we, because when while roto, or like rotating, it moved a little bit back. So I can double click it here again. Okay. And with the same warp tool, I will press space bar and start moving it out. And then space bar again and move it somewhere uh, like in the middle. Okay, so now you can see that it's not flipped anymore. So now once this is uh, created, we will save this file. So I will stop here and we will continue from here in the next class. If you find my videos interesting and useful, then please click the like button and click on the bell icon to receive notifications about my new tutorials and courses. If you are watching my videos and have not subscribed to the channel yet, Please subscribe it now and share it with your friends so they can also subscribe. Also, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Discord, and Amazon.com. The links are given in the description below. In the end, I would like to request that please watch my videos online and do not download them. 
because this will affect my watch time hours which is quite demotivating for me and uh, if you want me to create continuously create these new courses so please subscribe to my channel and watch all my videos online also like them and share them so everyone take care stay connected and see you in the next class